When creating or replying to a message on Flow, editing a wiki page, or just generally writing text in Flow, you will be using the HTML editor. This has a number of formatting options. The first button gives you the option to switch between the basic and advanced formatting tools. The first drop-down menu gives you some basic preset formatting for different types of text, such as paragraphs and headings. The next three buttons let you make selected text, turn bold, italicized, or underlined. The next two buttons let you create lists. The first is simply a series of dot points. Whereas the second numbers the list entries. These can be changed arbitrarily. Once you have selected some text, you're able to turn it into a hyperlink to a website. Clicking the first button will bring up a dialog box where you can enter the link you want it to direct to. To remove the link, click the second button. This collection of buttons lets you input various things into your text. The first option lets you put in an image. Clicking on it lets you either upload an image from your computer or paste in a link to an image that's online. This button is a list of all the emoticons and how they'll be displayed when you've finished editing. This button brings up a dialog box where you can upload sounds or videos from your computer. This video is on the basic navigation of Flinders Learning Online, or Flow. This button lets you create a table of an arbitrary size. The last button simply makes the editor take up the full screen. These options should be enough for the vast majority of text editing on Flow. The advanced options have a fair few more capabilities. These include choosing the font you want your text to be, choosing the font size, choosing the text color, highlighting the text and with what color, aligning the text to the right, left or center, indenting the text and unindenting the text, if you want to remove all formatting from a piece of text, click this button. If you've copied some text, which has some formatting in it already, and then paste it into the editor, the formatting will be preserved. If you don't want this to happen, first click this button, then paste. The text will be pasted without formatting. This is the undo button and the redo button. These change the flow of the text to be right to left or left to right. This lets you add in mathematical equations and special characters. This button lets you find text within the editor and this lets you replace it. This strikes through the text, and this makes certain text subscript or superscript, which is useful for numbered referencing. Finally, if you'd like, you can edit the HTML code directly.